Hello John, today we're going to talk about the closure of post offices and the closure of banks. Um, we're particularly going to focus on County Kerry. There's 1,140 post offices across Ireland, 40 of which operate in Kerry. They're talking about closing 20 of them, which is 50%. Hello Oliver. Uh, yes, uh, the closure of essential services always strikes um, fear and anger into people. Uh, these post offices, there was far more of them years ago when we were supposed to be uh, in, in a, a, an era when, when we didn't have all this development that we have now. It's funny when, 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 we, when, we, when we could look at this and consider progress. Uh, the post office, as far as I'm concerned, is not fit for purpose. And I'll mention why. You receive a letter nowadays, posted in any town in Ireland. The, the town in Ireland is not represented in the postmark. As a matter of fact, uh, recently I celebrated my birthday. Uh, and the weather was lovely. And I got cards. Most of the cards had no postmark. Now, years ago, before they started stripping the post offices of the services that they provided, post offices had a franking system in every town and village where there was a post office. So if you posted a, if you posted a letter or a card or any item in a country town or village, that town's uh, name was on the postmark. You never received a letter from uh, those times. You never received a letter without where it was coming from. And especially when you were abroad, or even say working in Dublin and you were from the country, uh, it was nice to get a letter with, with, from your parents or from whoever was living at home, or maybe from a friend with the, with the postmark of the town. In my case, it was Boyle County Common, and what appeared in the post, postmark was Monastery Nabooya, the town of the monastery, holy place. Likewise, if you're from Killarney, Kerry, or any of these places, or Tralee, or Listall, Newcastle, uh, um, any of these places in County Kerry, the, the post office stamped stamp the, the, the letter or parcel or whatever it might be. Now they're not stamp, they're, they're not the postmark is not on them to know where they come from. To me that's not progress. That is uh, gone backwards. Now we hear that the post office wants they have one thousand one hundred and forty post offices throughout the country, which is not a lot really when you think of it. And in Kerry has forty and now they've uh, suggested and written to various po post offices or post postmasters in the various towns in Kerry and they want to close 20 of them, offer them compensation. So where there was 40, which obviously a lot of little places haven't got post offices, uh, they want to close 20. So that means uh, that people in the towns in which they want to close these post offices would have to travel. Now, hopefully they're good walkers if they're depending on their feet. Or either that or they'll have to get a lift for somebody. It's absolutely uh, deplorable that any utility, the link at the post office, can propose such a draconian message, a draconian solution to closure. Did they ever hear tell of opening places? It's more post offices that's wanted, not closures. Uh, they apparently are obsessed with uh, cutting costs and turnover. Maybe if they close the whole shooting gallery and we send everything by email or private post or something. It's just, there's only so much people can put up with in this country. Uh, people need post offices. They need banks. They've closed banks right, left and centre. And those ones that are open, the services are being reduced all the time. There's no staff now in a lot of banks. There's no staff, precisely. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, what is this obsession with cutting costs? 
they nearly bankrupted the country with their useless policies there during the so-called boom that we encountered for a few years, which is all to do with about the price of houses, and I think it's come on back again with the price of houses. Now, it's not good enough for the post offices and the banks to be closing uh, facilities in, in towns and uh, throughout the country. Uh, the closing 20 out of 40 of the proposed that in, in Kerry, it's actually given back the post offices the, uh, the facilities that they had years ago that, that they could frank letters. We'd be sure of having an idea where the, where the letters come from. Uh, at the moment we haven't a clue. Quite a few of them, if they're not standard, they're not, uh, you can't see, the postmark mark is not on them. Uh, and sometimes it's a little cross. I mean, their service is absolutely ridiculous and it's time for people to stand up and demand that the post offices be given the facilities that they had years ago. Thank you very much, John. Thank you.